Hello friends, welcome to Technik. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll show you some of the best features or other new features of the Color OS 11. So, Color OS 11 has been announced by Oppo. The global debut has taken place a few hours back. Now, this uh, version is a uh, major jump from the Color OS 7 or other 7.2, which is running on a lot of smartphones. So, so now Oppo has named the Color OS version. Uh, in line with uh, the Android version that's Android 11 and Color OS 11. So that's the uh, version. So uh, now uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the best features or other new features um, uh, in the Color OS 11 uh, which is released right now. So, so right now we have the Oppo Find X2. So we'll just go to About Phone. You can see that Find X2 Android version is 11 and Color OS version is uh, again uh, 11. So there you go. That's the new version and uh, it's running on the latest patch. Uh, so this is the color, uh, Find X2 with uh, the color of S11. So we're gonna uh, talk about all the aspects. So uh, this device brings in uh, all the, or rather color of S11 brings in all the Android's latest features, including the privacy uh, and uh, all the protection improvements, optimizations, everything uh, uh, which uh, the Android 11 has, that is uh, 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 in the color OS 11 as well. Now let's go to uh, other features on the color OS 11. So this device we have already compared with uh, the color OS uh, 7.2. So we'll uh, show you some of the new features here. So first going to settings. So we already know there is a dark mode available, but now dark mode gets uh, new features. So if you go to the display and brightness, uh, if you go to the dark mode, you can see that there is a customization available for dark mode. So what are the customization? One is the enhanced dark mode, one is a medium dark mode and one is a gentle dark mode. So gentle dark mode is more of a grayish tone while enhanced one is more of a dark or black theme. So you can see that uh, the difference here is uh, kind of uh, uh, visible actually uh, if you go with the gentle one. Uh, you can see that it's more of a gray background and you can see adjust wallpapers to the dark mode, adjust icons to the dark mode, reduce contrast in low light and uh, you can also see for third party apps uh, what you can change uh, that is also included here. So uh, colors actually may, uh, may not be displayed correctly when the screen brightness is low but then still uh, there is a gentle, medium and enhanced dark mode available in this new Color OS 11. Now next uh, is the customization option. So this we have covered in detail. So this is uh, one of the really new features rather available on this device. So you can see here uh, the personalization options. Uh, this is kind of uh, similar to what are the OnePlus op offers. So we have the themes, wallpapers and always on display. So if you uh, select the always on display, you can see that uh, there are lots of options available. Uh, you can uh, go with uh, the text only option. Uh, you can see that uh, display options, uh, the current one, then text only, text and image, uh, analog clock, digital clock. So a lot of things are there. You can customize how the always on display you want. Then uh, you can uh, see that uh, icon styles are there. You can see this is uh, kind of not new, but still it is available. Then app layout, you can customize. Fingerprint uh, animation can be set. So there are lots of uh, available. So you can see here eight of them are available. You can uh, select which animation you want when you unlock uh, the device. So that's uh, the fingerprint icon animation. Then you can change the font. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, change the font available. Then notification drawer. You can see that icons uh, shape. You can see that uh, six options are included. Which of you want, you can select that. And uh, then you get the edge lighting. So edge lighting will not be available on all devices wherever supported. Edge lighting will be available. So you can set edge lighting for incoming calls, uh, which all contacts you want. And uh, you can select the color as well. And uh, it will be available uh, whenever there is a call coming. So you can see here. Uh, edge lighting works uh, whenever a new call comes in or a new notification comes in. Then there is a ringtone maker. So it's a lab feature. You can actually customize the ringtone. You can go with relaxing, thrilling, vibrant, uh, simple, slow and fast moving. So you can create a, a ringtone uh, using the existing one. So that's another feature available. Now, uh, Oppo has now a super power saving mode. So this is basically uh, helps in increasing the battery. So you can see that there is a super power saving mode available. So this is the super power saving mode. Uh, it can extend the battery for a long, long time. In fact, Oppo claims that uh, you can use 90 minutes of WhatsApp even with uh, 5 percentage of battery. That's something which is good. So you can see that these are apps. You can add apps uh, whichever you want uh, in uh, 
the uh, power saving mode you can have uh, around uh, six apps so these are the three apps phone messages and clock then three apps can be added in the power saving mode and once you're done if you if you charge the battery you can exit the super power saving mode then uh, we have this oppo uh, relax uh, app this has been improved actually so oppo relax is kind of uh, app to uh, uh, have better breathe uh, better sleep uh, stay more focused it's kind of an app to relax your body so this app has been there in previous version as well but now this has been improved here then uh, you get uh, this floating window option which is quite similar to what we've seen on other devices like the one ui you can uh, uh, have the floating windows that's again a really nice feature and uh, apart from that there is also one more feature which is new which is like a, uh, a google translate option uh, actually we couldn't work uh, uh, it on this device right now uh, probably it's not implemented in this version but what uh, it does is you can take a screenshot and you can do instant google translate uh, from any language onto uh, english or what, whatever you have been said so this has been uh, made in partnership with google so uh, the google translate works really well so these are some of the new features included uh, in uh, the color os you can see here this is the uh, multitasking option then uh, you can see the cube toggles have been uh, moved down you can see that it has been detached from the top section and even the notification toggles have been uh, given a new feel altogether so it feels quite good uh, and refreshing change uh, in the oppo's color os so the color os 11 uh, has been announced to uh, oppo he is planning to roll out to, to other devices uh, throughout uh, the coming uh, months so uh, by the end of december 2020 most of the devices will be getting the color os 11 that's the plan uh, set by oppo uh, for the color os 11 and android 11 so these are some of the new features on the color os 11 hope this video was useful do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day